Hey, it's Darlene. Welcome to my channel. I'm working on a one page layout of some birthday pictures of one of my sons. So this little piece right here was the cake topper, which you can tell by the photo. And I decided to use it as an embellishment in my scrapbook. So that is actually a really good tip if that's something that you make or if you make like gift tags or anything like that. I mean, add them in your scrapbooks, why not? But you did notice that it had lots and lots of layers, which I like to do when I make my cake topper, toppers. So I had to carefully remove or tear off some of the pieces of paper so that I could remove some of that foam adhesive. And it worked out fine, no tearing, thank you. So originally I was gonna use that candle paper, but when I turned it over, I really liked this striped paper better. It had a lot more color, more excitement, and so I was really happy about that. And because there's so many different um, pattern papers in these stripes, or patterns in the stripes, I really didn't need to add any more pattern paper. All I did was I cut this 12 by 12 inch blue paper just right in half at six inches and then I added that to the page and that was all of the paper that I needed for this layout. It's actually a pretty simple layout which I do like because I do like to focus on photos. Um, I do tell a little of the story and of course try to use some of my cute embellishments without overwhelming the page. So originally I put that blue stripe just right down the middle between the nine and the three on my mat and um, after I put the papers down, um, the, the papers, oh my goodness, the pictures down, and I kind of decided where I was putting everything, I kind of scooted that over a little bit more um, to the left, so it's now sitting at the 10 and um, 3, no, whatever the math is, <laughs> 10, 10 and 4, what is it, 10 and, oh, I was right, 3. No, 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 10 and 4. Oh my gosh. Don't ask me to do math when I'm trying to talk. But anyhow, um, you could tell already, you know, I did mat the smaller photo because I felt like it kind of got a little lost there. I decided not to mat the larger photos because I thought there was a big enough um, difference between all those patterns and um, the photos. I actually pulled out my T-square ruler to try to get those pictures as straight as possible. And if you subscribe to my channel, you know that my photos are rarely straight, even when using the ruler. But I try, and that's okay. And sometimes I purposely do things wonky just because I know they're not going to be straight anyways. But um, I hope you like this video so far. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. And... Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do post two videos a week. One is always scrapbooking. The other is whatever it is I'm creating in the command center. And let me tell you, that could be just a little bit of everything. I'm pretty excited. It is July 2024 right now, and I am going to be starting a Christmas in July series the last week of July, or I should say the second to the last week of July. And I'm going to have seven projects, um, some uh, different type of projects, because like I said, I don't just do paper crafting. I do all kinds of stuff. But anyhow, stay tuned for that. Um, so I just grabbed this little, uh, what do you call that? Like a label, I guess. And because um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do as far as um, another like embellishment cluster, um, journaling, things like that. Because really, there's a lot going on with all those different papers, that huge embellishment with his cake topper right there which is perfect I love it I do decide to do the journaling on that bottom where I was pointing out just a little a little bit ago um, I did pull out that happy birthday banner which I knew I wanted to use and so this little label or half that label just worked out perfectly so I just placed it right on there and then I went back to that sticker seat sticker sheet and started looking at different things I wanted to use now I didn't want to use like the cake and the balloons things like that because we already have a photo of the cake it's really not like a child's photo. I mean, my son's 35, so it's not like I was going to do little cutesy animals with, with little hats on them. But I grabbed those candles because I thought that was perfect. And then what I decided to do is I grabbed this piece of paper. Now, you see how there's barely a sliver up there on that top? Well, you know what, folks? That's all I needed. I just wanted a sliver of a uh, piece of paper because I'm going to cover the bottom of that candle. And I think it blends well with the photos and kind of keeps everything in line. It's not much, it's just a bright yellow piece of uh, paper right there, but I just love how much of a big difference it makes, or in my mind it does. I did add some stars in that little top left-hand corner of that same little label just to add some balance. But other than that, that's all I did as far as embellishments here. And now I pulled out my journaling strips, which I had purchased from Close to My Heart, which of course 
you can always just grab some white pieces of paper and put adhesive, which I've done plenty of times, but this really is a time saver and I love it. So I just start writing down um, what I think is gonna happen. I try to leave a little bit of space between words because I really don't know the placement yet because the thing I love about journal strip journaling, <laughs> is that how you'd say it, is I like to, let me see, how do I say it? Like cut the words, make them wonky. Um, not every line is the same length. And you can see there how I, I cut words where I didn't think I was going to because it got too long. And then that one I wanted to keep together. So I kept that one line short. It just, to me, it just adds more interest and I absolutely love it. And it's super simple journaling. I mean, I'm not going to write like a huge story about it, but also this birthday photo picture, there's not a whole lot going on anyhow. I mean, the biggest thing is that my son was home, which was awesome. Um, because he's not always home for his birthday. But I do love that we do celebrate birthdays and um, we always get together for a meal and cake, of course. Um, I did decide to add a few enamel dots just because, but basically this is all I do with the layout. Again, I hope you do like this video and if you do, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, if you're not sure about my channel, you can watch my introduction video, which I will try to link in the information box, but I will have a link to my blog and any other information you may know. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye.